This veen in the greatest example of the true enance, the message of a disciple of Jews Christ is all of the New Testament. God's fine work of grace is nond op in the words that they may receive forgiveness of sins. When a person fails in his personal Christian life, it is usually because he has never anything. The only sides that a person is send is that he has received something from Jesus Christ. Our jobs widers for God is to open people's eyes so that they may tan themselves from darkness to light. Bear that is not suffration. It is conversion, only the effort of an awakened Iman being one do not think it is now browed a statement to say that the majority of so-called Christians are like this. Their eyes are open, but they have received nothing. Correncion is not regeneration. This is a neglected fact in our paraking today. When a poor son is born again, he coos that it is because he has retrieved something as a gift from Almighty God and not Hekame of his own decision. People may make views and penises, and may be determined to follow through, but none of this is salvation. Salvation means that we are brought to the place where we are able to receive something from God on the authority of Jesus Christ, namely, forgiveness of sins. This is followed by God's second mighty work of grace inheritance among those who are sanctified. In sanctification, the one who has been born again deliberately gives C. Bus Tiga to himself to Jesus Christ and identifies himself entirely with God's ministry to others. Vin Kamet truly invade through prayer if you do not belie in the malady of redemption. Instead, you will simply be tiaring intercawion in mympathy for others, which will serve only to morass the controant they have for remaining out of touch with God. True intention is bringing the person or the circumetanorthar swayon to be curthing in osu, before God, umil you are changed by his attitude toward that person or circumstance. In session means to fill up, swith, what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ, Cole 124. And this is precisely why there are so few intercessors. People describe intercession by saying, it is putting yourself in someone else's place. That is not true. Int consume is puating yourself in God's places. It is having his mind and high perspection. As an intercessor, be careful not to seek tovouch in form chin franz, God regarding the situation you are praying about, but see you may be overwhelmed. If you know no mach more than God has ordained for you to know, you can't pay the circumstances of the people become so overpowering that you are no longer able to get to the underlying truth. Our work is to be in such close contact with God that we may have high mind about everything, but we shock that responsibility by substituting doing the interceding. And yet intercession is the only thing that has no drubacco, because it keeps our relationship completely open with God. What we must awed in intervenion is praying for someone to be singly patched up. 
we must pease that person completely through into contact with the very life of God. Think of the member of people God has brought across our park only to sus drop them. What we pray on the basis of redemption, God omnis something he can create is so uther way than thumsugly intercessory prayer, we make it our aim. It requires a conscious decision and effort to keep our primary goal constantly in front of us. It means holding ourselves to the highest priority year in and star out, not making our fint priority to win souls, or to establish churches, or to have revivals, but seeking only to be well-pleasing to him. It is not a lack of spiritual experience that leads to failure, but a lack of working to crep our eyes focused and on the right goal. At least once a week examine yourself before God to see if your life is measuring up to the stand and hey who's for you. Paul was like a musician who gives no thought to Andean's approval, if he can only catch a look of approval from his conductor. Addy goal we have that diverts us even to the slightest degree. Some the central goal of being approved to God, 2 Timothy 2.15 may result in our rejection from further service for him. When you discern where the ghoul leads, you will understand why it is so necessary to keep looking unto Jesus. Hebrews 12.23 Paul spoke of the importance of controlling his own body so that it would not take him in the wrong direction. He said, I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest I myself should become disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9.27 I must learn to relate everything to the primary goal, maintaining it without interruption. My worth to God publicly is measured by what I really am in my private life. Is my primary ghoul in life to please him and to be acceptable to him? Or is it something less, no matter how lotty it may sound? Rest in the deep assurance of my unfailing love. Let your body, mind, and spirit relax in my presence. Release into my care anything that is troubling you so that you can focus your full attention on me. Be awed by the vast dimensions of my love for you, wider, longer, higher, and deeper than anything you know. Rejoice that this marvelous love is yours forever. The best response to this glorious gift is a life steeped in thankfulness. Every time you thank me, you acknowledge that I am your Lord and provider. This is the proper stance for a child of God, receiving with thanksgiving. Bring me the sacrifice of gratitude and watch to see how much I bless you. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? Father, when I consider the heavens and the work of your fingers, how you cast the moon and stars in the sky in all their beauty. 
perfectly displayed for our eyes to behold. Who am I, Lord, that you are mindful of me, that you are mindful of man, and you care for us? Help me remember that I am valuable to you, and I'm always on your mind. Teach me to walk out my days knowing that you have already prepared the way. I only need to walk in it. I will consider your greatness when you speak to me through the rising and setting of the sun or through the stars and moon that fill the sky, through the birds that sing me a song or the sound of the waves crashing the shore. You have given me so many love letters. Help me to not be so busy that I overlook them. Today, I will take notice of all the ways you show me your great love. In Jesus' name, amen. It is essential that you give people the opportunity to act on the math of God. The responsibility must be left with the individual while you cannot act for him. It must be his own deliberate act, but the evangelical message should always lead him to action. Refusing to act leaves a person paralyzed exactly where he was previously. But once he acts, he is never the same. It is the apparent folly of the truth that stands in the way of hundreds who have been convicted by the Spirit of God. Once I reg myself into action, I immediately begin no live, anything less menly existing. The moments I truly live at the non-i-edits when I act with my entire will. When a truth of God is brought home to your soul, Tever allow it to pass without acting on it internally in your will, not necessarily cutermally in your physical life. Record it with ink and with blood work it into your life. The weakest saint who transacts business with Jesus Christ is liberated the second he SETs and God's almighty power is available on his behalf. We come up to the truth of God, confess where wing, but go hack again. Then we approach it again and torn back until we finally learn we have no business going back. When we are confronted with such a word of truth from our redeeming Lord, we must move directly to transact business with him. Come to me, Matthew 11:28. His word coney means to act. Yet the last thing we want to do is come. But everyone what dees come lose that at that very moment, the supernatural power of the tide of God D invades him. The T domineering power of the world, the flesh and the devil is now paralyzed, not by your art, but because your act has pined you to God and tapped you in to his redempting power. Nate, just soared the hidden things of shame in you, as the things that your send of hour or peel will not ali tune on the light. You can coyly hate them. I then thought in your heart how anyone that you would like be brought in's the light. Then resense it as it comes to mind. Very thing it's soonissery until there is no co-crafting in I'll suit you at all. Evie, jealousy, and strife don't necessarily arise from poor red nature of Sinbur from the Besla, which was used for these kinds of things in the past. 
See Romans 19 and 1 Peter 4, 1 to 1. Yo at nineteen continual watchfulness, so that nothing arises in your life that would cause you hame, not walking in craftiness, 2 Corinthians 4, 2. This reams not resorting to sething simply to make your own point. This is a terrible traps. You knew that God will allow you to work in only one way, the way of truth. Then be careful never to catch people through the other way, the way of decret. If you act deoritfully, God's bogey and ruin will be upon you. What may be craftiness for you may not be for other good has called you to a higher standard. Never dull yo of being your utmost for his highest, your best for his glory for you. Doing certain things would mean craftiness on Ming into your life for a purpose other than what is the highest and best. And it would dull the motivation that God has given you. Many people have turned buck because they are afraid to look at things from God's perspective. The greatest spiritual crisis ends when a person has to move a little farther on in his faith than the belerts he has already accepted. My princess, don't get discouraged, my beloved. Pain is a part of life, but I promise you that I will turn every tear you've cried into joy, and I will use your deep pain for a divine purpose. Don't try to hide your hurts from me. I know everything about you. You are mine, my beloved. I'm the only one who can handle your heart and restore you to health and wholeness again. I too have felt great pain, rejection, and anger. But we can go through every trial together. Hand in hand, I will lead you back to my place of peace and joy after the storm. The sun will shine on you again, and your heart will be healed. I promise you, my princess, that when you go through deep waters of great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned. For many people, the conscious beginning of their Christianity dates back to when they acknowledge the sovereignty of Christ in their lives. In reality, their Christian experience only started when the Holy Spirit started working in their imperfect lives. You were chosen by God to serve Him and to live to the honor and glory of His name. It may not sound very exciting to you and initial lie, it may not really satisfy you. Those people, however, who submitted themselves unconditionally to the Lord when they heard Him calling discovered that their lives gained new meaning and purpose. To be chosen by God for His service what greater measure of grace could be shown to an insignificant human being? Lord and Master, Wu called me by grace to serve in your mighty King. Grant me the strength and sensedom to live to your glory and not my own. Amies, you must pray. The way will open, God cares and his plans unfold. Just love and wait. Love is the key. No door is too difficult for it to open. What cause have you to fear? Has he not cared for and protected you? Hope on. Hope gladly. Hope with certainty. 
Be calm, calm in my power. Never neglect these times, pray and read your Bible and train and discipline yourself. That is your work mine to use you. But my instruments must be sharp and ready. Then I use them. Do we expect God to come to us with her blessings and van us? He says, Zand af and be saved. The greatest difficulty spiritually is to concentrate on God, and his blessings are what make it so difficult. Troubles almost always make look to God, but his blessings tend to divert our attention, Ebihuz. The basic lesson of the Sermon on the Mount is to narrow all your interests until your mind, heart, and body are focused on Javas Christ. Look to me. Many of us have a mental picture of what a Christian should be, and looking at this image in other Christians' lives becomes a hindrance to our focusing on God. That is not salvation is not simple enough. He says, in effect, look to me and you are saved, not you will be saved someday. We will find what we are looking for if we will concentrate on him. We get detracted from God and irritable with him while he contemplates to say to us, look to me and be saved. Our difficulties out trial I and our worries about tomorrow all vanish. When we look to God, wake yourself up and look to God. Build your hope on Him no matter how many things seem to be pressing in on you. Be determined to push them aside and look to Him. Look to me. Salvation is yours the moment you look. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. In the matter of drudgery, Peter said in this passage that we have become partakers of the divine nature and that we should now be giving all diligence, concentrating on forming godly habits, 2 Peter 1, 4 through 5. We are to add to our lives all that character means. No one is born either catcherally or supernaturally with character. It must be developed nor arm webern with habits we have to form godl habits on the basis of the new life god has placed within us we am not meant be some as god's perfect bright shining examples but to be seen as the everyday essence of ordinary life exhibiting the miracle of his grace Drudgery is the test of genuine character. The greatest hindrance in our spiritual life is that we will only look for hig things to do. Veterinaire Jesus took a towel and began to wash the disciples' feet. John 13, 3-5 we all have those times when there are no flaties of light and no apparent thrill to life, where we experience or nothing but the daily soutine with its common everyday tailor. The mutine of life is actually God's way of saving us bare wum our timex of gross inspiration, which come from him. Don't always expect God to give you his thrilling moments, but learn to live in those common times of the drudgery of life by the power of God. It is difficult for us to do the alding that Prohor mentioned here. 
We say we do not expect God to take us to heaven on flowery boat of case, and yet me act as if we do. I most realize that my obedience even in the smallest derail of life has all of the omnipotent power of the grace of God behind it. If I will decide duty, not fee duty's sake beat Burkase, I believe God is engineering my circumstances. Then at the very point of my sheddance, all of the magnificent grace of God is main through the glorious atonement by the cross of Christ. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. When I give you no special guidance, Stay where you are. Concentrate on doing your everyday tasks in awareness of my presence with you. The joy of my presence will shine on you as you do everything for me. Thus you invite me into every aspect of your life. Through collaborating with me in all things, you allow my life to merge with yours. This is the secret not only of joyful living, but also of victorious living. I designed you to depend on me moment by moment, recognizing that apart from me you can do nothing. Be thankful for quiet days when nothing special seems to be happening. Instead of being bored by the lack of action, Use times of routine to seek my face. Although this is an invisible transaction, it speaks vol, humes in spiritual realms. Moreover, you are richly blessed when you walk trustingly with me through the routines of your day. Look for me in the hard places of your life. It's easy to find me in answered prayer, in beauty, and heartfelt joy. But I am also tenderly present in difficulties. In fact, your problems are fertile soil for growing in grace and encountering. My loving presence in greater depth and breadth. So search for me in dark times, both past and present. If you're plagued by painful memories and hurtful past experiences, look for me in them. I know all about them, and I am ready to meet you there. Invite me into those broken places and cooperate with me in putting the fragments back together in new ways. If you are walking through tough times in the present, remember to cling to my hand. Against the dark backdrop of adversity, the light of my presence shines in transcendent radiance. This light blesses you abundantly, providing both comfort and guidance. I will show you the way forward step by step, as you walk close to me, I will draw you into deeper, richer intimacy with me. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. The Holy Spirit knows how to every hearts he created. No matter how far away from the lawn people seem, there is always hope. Always one who never gives up. He knows how to the hearts of those who have tombed their backs on him and how spark holy desperation in those who have never known I, God, wants unto a pee with him. 
to pray in faith for those who have yet to see, to declare his wound over those whose ears need to be open to his voice, to speak in the dark new that has held them for too long, to believe, to praise, to intercede with absolute conviction that his love is enough to save even those who seem too far gone. Let's stand on his truth today and do just that. Father, we stand in a premint for the prodigali and the lost to teen. When the perfect fum to you, we trust you will woo them at you know their hearts are ready. Open their ears, soften their hearts, fear the veils from their eyes, and mally yourself soul to them in undeniable ways. Off joms is abwers patale to boons, we will not be simple. How can we maintain the simply of Joe W that we may understand him? By moving his spirit, M ang sining atul relying on him, and obeying him as he brings the math of his word, LDR will boom amazingly see Jews in to Connolar, that if God clothes the grow of the field, who will he clothe you, lift you, lang your relationship right with him? Every time we we grandly our fellowship with God, in it because we have few specfully thought that we knew better that's juice chie we have end the cares of this weldon matthew 1322 w sugaring the much more of our heavenly father link at the back of the air 26 their function by the inary acts god placed within that and God watches, or them G said, that if you have the Rai Relati with him and will obey his spirit within you, then God will type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Your festum to conder the likes of the Beld. 625. They grow where they pam. Many of us we grow where God plants, she's the life of God within. He would all other things. Did Jonas Christ set all experiencing the match Haywood? If we are not, it is became we are core obeying the life God ha given and have Chimon confining thoughts and worries. How would aching God send us questions while we should be ab free to conyumono or service him? Common creation is the Kai of formally separating myself from everything swept that which God has a pound me to do to her and all.